Hey everybody, Zot here, and welcome to another edition of Skillcap's exclusive series Essence Spotlight, a series in which we put the spotlight on a specific essence, and take an in-depth look at some of the strongest essences recently introduced into the game with patch 8.2. We'll be explaining how these essences work, and what impact they have on PvP, as well as taking a look at how you can unlock each rank, before letting you know which classes the essences are good for. In today's guide, we're going to be covering one everybody has access to, and that's the Crucible of Flame Essence. So let's get right into it. For those of you unfamiliar with essences, they were released recently with the patch 8.2, and are upgrades to your Heart of Azeroth neck. You can have one major and two minor once you reach the required levels, which are level 35 for your major essence, and then level 55 and 65 for your two minors. Bear in mind when taking an essence as your major, you gain access to its minor effects as well. These essences are all unlocked in different ways. Some are time gated, some require certain rep or achievements, and some even from clearing raids or dungeons. And all essences have three ranks, with each rank improving in their effectiveness or gaining new effects. Rank 4 is available, but it's purely cosmetic. Alright, so today we're going to be focusing on the Crucible of Flame. This essence is unique in the fact that it's one of the few available to damage dealers, healers, but also tanks. The major effect on this essence is an active ability that would blast your target with a ball of concentrated flame, dealing some decent damage, or if used on an ally will heal them for a sa the same amount instead. Each use of concentrated flame will increase the next one's damage or healing by 100%, stacking twice and then with your third cast will reset, so every third use of this ability will deal either 200% increased damage or healing. This essence is on a 30 second cooldown. At rank 2, this effect will deal the same damage but also cause the target to burn for an additional 75% of the initial damage, or again heal them for 75% of the initial healing. Rank 3 however is where this essence truly shines, as you gain 2 stacks of the active ability, mean you can do one initial cast and then let it stack up to two and deal 100% increased effectiveness followed up by a 200% increased effectiveness active in two globals, which can deal some insane burst damage or healing. So why should you consider taking this essence? Well, it's simple. This is one of the most versatile major essences available right now as you can either use it offensively or defensively. So say if you're a hunter playing 3v3 and your healer is caught into a full stun and is unlikely to survive. If you're playing this essence and have it available, you can target him, use the essence and heal him for a decent amount, allowing them to survive. And then as this ability is ranged 30 seconds later, you could find yourself in a scenario where your target is kiting away from you on low health and then use this essence to finish them off. Again, as I said, it's extremely versatile. On top of that, it's also one of the highest burst essences for a lot of classes, and also adds burst to classes that don't necessarily have that much. For example, Shadow Priest, as when on rank 3, you can essentially cast two in a row during a kill setup. So what impacts will this essence have on PvP? Well, I think this is honestly going to be one of the strongest essences, despite it looking weak on paper, when compared to some of the others. For those of you that played in 8.1 would know how strong Maledict was when all members of a team would synchronise using them onto one target, one after the other, to stack the healing debuff. This is much of the same, but allows three members of a team to all have access to a very strong single target nuke, but with two charges. Just imagine if you're facing a setup composition and your healer gets crowd controlled whilst you're stunned and then see three concentrated flames flying at you and then again the next global three more. It's going to be doing some immense damage and giving even teams without that much burst damage access to some. As it's also ranged, melee can finish off people kiting them from a longer distance. Crucible of Flame can also be used whilst you're locked out or silenced. This means that it allows healers to have some added survivability. That priest caught into a full root beam is now going to be able to heal his teammate while still inside of the silence effect, if he has this essence available. However, there is one major drawback of this essence, and that's the stacking buff you gain from its uses is magic. This means it can be either purged or spell stolen, so we'll end up losing a lot of value if the enemy team plays around it, and also classes with an offensive purges are going to have to look out for this buff to purge, not allowing the enemy team to fire off the 200% damage increased active. 
Okay, so with all that being said, what specs and classes should consider using the Crucible of Flame Essence? Well, there is a few things to take into account. First is that this essence becomes a lot more effective when combined with multiple people using it. The second thing you need to consider is although the Crucible of Flame is a great default essence, some classes have insane synergy with certain essences. For example, Destruction Warlocks and the Vision of Perfection, getting them random procs of their Infernal, which subsequently gives them more Grimoire of Supremacy stacks, which of course is insane synergy for Warlocks. Third is if you are playing a more of a setup composition. This essence is some nice burst single target damage, but it's not going to have that much impact if you're playing for instance Shadow Play, and you're looking to rot down the enemy team, instead of focusing on a single enemy. And last up is if the enemy team has a purge. As mentioned, this essence is strong because of how it increases damage and healing with every use, up to 200%, but is magic and can be purged. So consider if the enemy team has an offensive dispel, as this could be the deciding factor in certain matchups. Damage dealers I recommend taking this essence are survival hunters, feral droids and even rogues and mages in certain setup compositions, as well as also in some niche situations such as double DPS 2v2, as it allows you to gain some burst healing that could potentially keep you alive when you have no self healing. Now for healers this is unique, as I mentioned earlier it's one of the few essences providing any offensive benefit, and it's great for 2v2, where usually a more offensive playstyle is preferred. On top of that, Discipline Priests have great synergy with this essence, due to their natural offensive playstyle, and with the damage scaling from Schism and Dark Archangel, you can enable Discipline Priests to do some insane burst damage with this essence. Now we're going to be focusing on the minor aspect of Crucible of Flame. When you take an essence as your major, you automatically gain access to its minor effects, however if you didn't want Crucible as your major, you can still select it as a minor. What Crucible of Flame does as a minor power is provide your abilities to have a chance to put a damage over time effect on your target. Again, as for the major, this is also for healers, so same as the offensive side of it, your heals also have a chance to put a healing over time effect onto your ally. Rank 2 will increase the dot's damage or healing even further, whilst rank 3 will allow the dot to stack up to 3 times. This is an all around great minor for pretty much all damage classes. It's the highest pure effective damage minor for most classes, and is especially great for dot classes, or those of them which primarily focus on putting out the highest overall damage. With this being one of the easiest essences to obtain, and being extremely good as a minor, expect to see most people running it once they reach level 65 neck. As for impact on PvP, this minor essence is simply going to increase the overall damage and healing done by classes who select it, so don't expect to have that much of an impact on the meta or game as a whole. So what specs should be using this minor? Well, it's an incredibly strong damage and HPS output minor. So again, same as the major, it's going to be classes that don't synergize incredibly well with specific minor traits, like Vision of Perfection and Lucid Dreams. Simplified, if those two essences are not great for you, then this will more than likely be your go-to. So classes like Shadow Priests, Warlocks and Healers looking to gain some extra HPS instead of Mana Regeneration. Alright then, to wrap up this video, let's take a look at how you unlock each rank of the Crucible of Flame. Rank 1 is simple, if you have Essences, you'll have it, as it comes from the quest Mother Knows Best, which you'll have to do in order to unlock your Heart of Azeroth for Essences. Rank 2 then requires you to be level 54 on your Heart of Azeroth, and again, go to your Forge and you'll have a short quest chain to do, and then you'll have the Essence unlocked. Rank 3, again same as Rank 2, is gated behind Neck level. This time you're going to need level 60. Once you've dinged level 60 on your Heart of Azeroth, head to your Forge and you'll have another quest waiting for you. And finally, for the cosmetic appearance, you're going to need a huge level 70 Heart of Azeroth. Okay then guys, that just about concludes this addition to our Essence Spotlight series. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to plus skill if you enjoyed this video. 